Hey guys, it's Jerisoft here, and today we're going to be doing a review on the Echo One Stag 15. Alright, starting off with the Echo One Stag 15. First thing you're going to get with this gun is obviously the gun, a 300 round high capacity magazine with the winding tool. You're going to get a battery and charger with this gun. Starting off with the external side of this gun, as you notice, it does have an orange tip on here. Standard birdcage style. Uh, it is removable with a screw at the bottom. The outer barrel is metal. Um, with a metal triangle sight and sling mount on the left side of the gun. You are going to get a plastic four uh, grip right here. Handguard. Um, does not come with this extra rail attachment. It's an NC Star, really old handguard rail attachment. The Delta, uh, it is wired to the front. Um, inside the handguard, battery is stored in there. Delta ring is very stiff to move back. That is very good so your battery doesn't you know, come out of the handguard. Handguard doesn't come loose. loose. Plastic uh, carry handle is included with the gun, with a removable rail, uh, which is metal, at the, um, metal top rail. Upper and lower receiver are uh, high quality plastic. Um, I actually have not seen an Echo One uh, body crack before, so it's a pretty high quality uh, plastic. Accessing your hop up is accessed by pulling down the charging handle. It's a standard two piece style hop up with the dial on the side, um, does not have a bolt catch, and yep, dust cover folds up, really sturdy, um, very nice. Mag release is standard M4 on the right side, most people know how to access mag release on M4. On the left side, you do have a fire selector, standard M4 style, non ambidextrous. Uh, moving to the rear of the gun, does have a metal buffer tube with a LE stock, standard M4 stock with a sling mount at the back, so you can attach a two-point sling to this gun very easily. Alright, now moving on to the pros and cons of this rifle. The pros of this rifle is I like the metal barrel. I do like the metal buffer tube. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the uh, handguard style with the battery sword in the front. Um, the barrel, even though it is metal, is you can probably not see here, there's a very slight wobble in it. Um, yeah, you can probably see that right there. Very slight wobble. Does not really affect the accuracy. It's kind of a thing with these handguard style in force with the triangle sight. It just wobbles. There's nothing you can really do about it. Uh, though it is polymer receiver, I really like metal receivers. Um, being, being polymer, it does not accept uh, standard EPMs. As you can see here, it does not accept EPMs. Doesn't really weld, uh, wedge in well and very difficult to remove. So, not a big fan. Alright, now moving on to some of the pros of this gun. Uh, the pros is it is a very uh, well built gun, minus the wobbly barrel. Um, but that, I, like I said, that's a kind of a thing with this front wired uh, setup here. Um, it's a very you know sturdy gun, very affordable gun for around $200. Uh, dollars ish. That's kind of where the Echo One guns, at least this from this competition level are. I do like the Stag Arms trades on this side. So the Stag Arms trades are very good. Um, the hop up, I like how it comes pre-installed with the Mad Bull orange bucking. You can't see it, but just trust me, all Echo One guns do come with it. I can overlay a picture of the hop up if you want. Okay, my next pro will be the magazine. The magazine, I've had about three or four of these Echo One magazines. Very durable, very reliable. You know, you can wind them up all the way. I like how it comes with the butterfly winder because you can wind those things up to the max and they will always feed. All right, now moving on to the shooting test. Okay, this is a shooting test of the Echo One Stag 15 M4, 9.6 volt battery. Here we go. Now full auto. Alright, thank you guys for watching. This has been the review of the Echo One Stag Arms Stag 15 M4. Uh, it's a pretty good gun for $200. I would recommend it to beginners. If you're an intermediate to advanced player, I would definitely ch check out something else. Not that this is a totally bad gun, I think there's just better options out there. Um, KBA CQR, if they still have them out there, I know they discontinued them or other guns. But overall, um, pretty decent gun. Uh, thank you guys for watching. SJRSoft signing out.